honey, what are you doing? <laughs> well, wasn't meant for you. Why? Why? Because I have no plans of marrying you. That's why. <clears throat> he broke my dream. From that moment, I knew I wouldn't ever be engaged. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. Wait. Marry me. What? I really need you. Wait, <laughs> where's your bride? I don't know. The veil is all that's left. Let's go. What? Come on, come on. Hey, what should I do? Dear guests and newlyweds. Father, can we have the shirt version? The shirt is one you know. Well, what's going on here? By the power given to me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Wait, what? Oh. I'm not his bride. Then who you are? She's mine. Come here now. No, I'm, I'm not gonna be yours ever again. Ever. Here. Why didn't you say you have already a groom? Groom? He refused to marry me in front of a bunch of people. So what do you have to lose? You can have play along to my wedding. Are you nuts? We're almost wed by a priest. I have to hide now. No. You are nuts if you're going to hide from me. <gasps> Boyfriend. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Could this day get any worse? Believe me, it can. Oh, I'm humiliated. I lost my boyfriend. I lost my hopes for marriage. Even the apartment we used to live together. What could be worse? Tomorrow I'll be departed out of country. What? I am an immigrant and I really needed this marriage. That's disgusting. Why? Because you got married only for your own benefit. In my culture, no one marries of their own free will. But you can fall in love with the person even after you get married. Well, I think that's nonsense. And I think if out of billions of people, fate brought you together with one, isn't it a sign? Isn't it worth trying at least? Maybe she's the one. Although, you know, I uh, chose my boyfriend myself of my own free will, but um, I never received love. If I don't eat something now, I'll just pass out. <laughs> Actually, these are appetizers from our wedding. So, these are all ours. You know, if it was our wedding, we would never have these appetizers with tomatoes. <laughs> I'm allergic to it. Oh, me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> And for the waiting. Well, I'm not. I've always dreamed of a wedding on the coast. It's a great idea. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I couldn't believe how two people could have so much in common. Movies, food, dreams. 
And they weren't just similar, they were the same. We seemed to complement each other's words. And the more we talked, the more I stopped believing that our meeting was accidental. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, what a day. I'm just falling apart. Yeah, me too. Oh, uh, listen, I haven't been deported yet, so wouldn't you mind having a drink with me? I'd love to. Well, if you don't mind. I'm completely free. <laughs> Are you sure? Hi. Hello. What are you doing here? Where have you been? I'm sorry. At the last moment I realized that I'm not ready for a family, children, diapers and stuff. So why did you come now? Well, I've spent the whole day alone in a bar and I realized that I don't want to be even more lonely. So at least you'd be home. Sorry, but I'm not your puppy to get you entertained. Let's go. And I'm fooling around. Without me, deportation awaits you. So whether you like it or not, you're obliged. Because you are married to me. Cheers to that! <laughs> Is that all? Meeting someone only to lose them like this? Actually, he's married to this girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stop it, father. You're married Liam and Sophia. <laughs> She's clearly not Sophia. I am Sophia. What? Friends call me Sophie, but my real name is Sophia. What? That's what I'm talking about. You're married. So think clearly before breaking up this marriage. It may not be a coincidence. Thank you. Thought. Liam, did you hear that? You were saved. You won't be deported. Yeah, but you still can be married to me. Why? You yourself said, how can you marry someone you don't even know? Well, maybe this is a sign and uh, I accidentally married the right guy. <laughs> You might wait for years for a wedding, only to discover the love of your life in a single day, with whom no wedding is needed. <laughs>